Tonight, a woman says she was on hold with 911 for so long she called a retired police officer for help. This happened early Sunday morning when the woman says she saw a car hit a cyclist. Our public safety reporter has been closely tracking 911 staffing problems for over a year now here in Austin. And tonight, KXN's Brianna Hollis gives us an update on the hiring process. He was bleeding from his head. Sarah Crown says she was in the car with her sons when she saw a young man on the ground in this intersection. Every minute was another breath that he was going to be without. Panic set in further when she says she and others on scene couldn't get through to 911. Time was so precious. So she hung up and did the only other thing she thought she could do. Called a friend, retired officer and former Austin Police Association President Ken Cassidy to ask for help. Call an officer, a friend of mine that still works in downtown Austin um, to have him notify dispatch that, you know, this young lady needed help at Toomey and Lamar. Police say the 911 call that ultimately got through for the case was on hold for about three minutes and the cyclist was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. APD says once the first unit was assigned to the case, crews got to the intersection in about four minutes. More important than anything in the city, you've got to be able to answer 911 calls. At this month's Public Safety Commission meeting, APD provided an update on 911 staffing numbers. The department is short 47 911 call takers out of 104 total positions and short 14 dispatchers out of 75 total positions. But along with these critical staffing numbers came some good news this time around. We're starting seven new 911 call takers and, and, and seven uh, dispatchers uh, that will be going through training. Police say 11 call takers were working when the woman called 911 Sunday. One officer tells us it's ideal to have 18 to 22 working an evening shift. We're also looking at incentives to be able to retain people as well as uh, continue to offer qualified people into the door. Crown and Cassidy hope that happens as soon as possible. I mean, this has got to be the top priority over at City Hall. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. An APD is still investigating the crash and has not said whether officers were dispatched because of the 911 call or because of Cassidy's call. Now, police do want to remind you, if you call 911 and you get put on hold, do not hang up. That's going to put you at the bottom of the queue. As Austin's 911 staffing issues continue, what are other cities doing? Well, as we reported, last October, San Antonio police added about 100 new call takers between 2017 and 2018. That move helped improve call answer times from 8 seconds to 1 second. Operators were answering 95% of emergency calls within 15 seconds. By comparison, in August and September, call takers in Austin were answering 80% of calls within 15 seconds.